All right, here's your timeless sunset. California you sunset. You want to debate sunsets? <laughs> <laughs> Rolex. Two, one, and timeless. Your course bank with timeless moments. Right, all four. California sunset. Well, I lived in Santa Monica for a long time. Doesn't get any better than that. I mean, we have sunsets, but. You know, they're over New Jersey, not over the Pacific. It's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey, not Frazier. New Jersey. There are a lot of very talented producers and directors out there working all across the country. Um, <clears throat> we've always held pretty steadfast to the notion of what makes a good baseball broadcast is uh, very simple. We're, we are literally trying to educate and entertain the viewers. It doesn't get any more complicated than that. What we do and, and the elements that we utilize to accomplish that um, change on a game-by-game, inning-by-inning basis. It really depends how the game's going. We're reacting to the game. So there may be games that call for us to read out of the media guide to entertain people. There may be games that call for us to um, use baseball cards from 20, 30 years ago and discuss those players. There may be games that call for us to be uh, incredibly um, educational in terms of breaking down a, a batter's swing or talking about shifting or um, a pitcher's motion or mechanics. It really depends and I, I don't think you can um, you can pinpoint a formula that you're going to use every day. I think if you do that, you run a real serious risk of not um, fulfilling your ultimate goal, which is to really do uh, the type of broadcast that people find interesting and fun to watch and um, you know, point to and, and hold up as a model. Very good.